NBC6 News today. This morning, thousands of people are expected to pay their respects to former President George H.W. Bush, his casket resting in the Capitol Rotunda in Washington. NBC6's Mark Meredith joining us live from Capitol Hill, where we've already we've seen several moving tributes to the late president. Mark, good morning. That's right, Lauren. That's right. Those tributes are going to be continuing throughout the day. The sun just now coming up here in Washington, meaning people are going to be lining up for that chance to get into the Capitol. And ever since Mr. Bush's uh, casket arrived here, we've seen those tributes pour in. This morning, crowds continue to arrive on Capitol Hill to say one last goodbye to naval aviator, former president, and American icon George H.W. Bush. Late Monday, the current president, Donald Trump, and First Lady Melania visited Mr. Bush's flag-draped coffin. The 45th president will also attend a memorial service for the 41st president tomorrow. His example will always inspire, and his lifetime of service will be enshrined in the hearts of the American people forever. The vice president, joined by leaders president from George both Herbert parties, Warren. honored Mr. Bush in a moving ceremony Monday. A full military honor guard escorted Mr. Bush's casket from Texas all the way to Capitol Hill. His life was a hymn of honor. His legacy is grace perfected. House Speaker Paul Ryan is remembering Mr. Bush as a patriot, honoring his service in Congress as CIA director, vice president, and eventually president. Tomorrow we do expect to hear from the president's son, George W. Bush, uh, about his father's legacy. He'll be speaking at that ceremony at the National Cathedral. Lauren? Mark, thank you so much.